The FBI's motto is fidelity, bravery, integrity. Agents take down bank robbers. Shots are being fired. And the mob. The FBI's polished image kept in the spotlight by countless TV shows and movies. I'm with the FBI. But there's another side to the FBI contained in these confidential internal records obtained by CNN that show serious misconduct by employees and even supervisors. We like Assistant FBI Director Candace Will oversees the agency's Office of Professional Responsibility. She sends out the reports four times a year to all 36,000 employees. We do our very best. Uh, we don't, obviously, if you know anything about our quarterlies, and they're not a public document, but we know that doesn't mean that CNN doesn't have a copy. Uh, there, there are no names. There are no locations. There are no job titles. We do our very best to sanitize the quarterlies so that the employee's identity is protected while imparting as much knowledge as we can about what happened so that employees can learn something from it. CNN obtained these summaries from the last year that include an employee who hit a recording device in a supervisor's office and did an unauthorized search of that office. Another who was involved in a domestic dispute at a mistress's apartment in which the police were called. Another hid or destroyed electronic evidence. And one other employee repeatedly committed check fraud. And then there's the employee who married a drug user dealer and lied about it. All of them were fired. Knowing what this agency does, knowing what this agency is about, how can anybody be so stupid? Well, you know, it's funny you say that because we do, we look at our cases and we are struck sometimes. I've been doing this a really long time. I've been doing this nine years at the FBI and as long as I've been doing it. And there are days when I think, okay, I've seen it all, but I really haven't. I still get files and I think, wow, I never would have thought of that. But I got to tell you, I don't think I would ever bug my boss's office, especially if my boss was an FBI agent. Oh, I know. It's extraordinary. I agree. There, there are some that sort of do just uh, kind of take the cake. And that was one where, you know, planting a recording device and rifling through a briefcase and then lying about it. That's, you know, that's why this employee is, that's why that's a former employee. The internal reports show a 14-day suspension for the employee who paid for a sexual favor at a massage parlor using a personal cell phone to send nude photographs to other employees got a 10-day suspension but there was only a five-day suspension for the employee who repeatedly used a government issued blackberry to send sexually explicit messages to another employee at work these actions follow misconduct we reported two years ago that included sleeping with informants and viewing pornography on bureau computers is that enough punishment for this kind of behavior? Keep in mind that if you lose a week's pay, that, that hurts, or two weeks' pay in some of those cases. And, you know, we have seen a rash of sexting cases and nude photograph cases, you know, people misusing their Bureau about Blackberry for these reasons. And we are hoping that getting the message out in the quarterlies is going to teach people, you can't do this stuff. You know, when you're given an FBI Blackberry, it's for official use. It's not to text, you know, the woman in another office who you found attractive or to send a picture of yourself in a state of undress. In the last three years, the FBI disciplined 1,045 employees. 85 were fired. And Will says the internal warnings sent out by her office do deter bad behavior. They do learn because I've had employees email me, stop me in the hallway, call me and say, you know, I didn't know you couldn't do that. And Drew is joining us now. Drew, uh, what do the employees uh, say about this bad behavior? You know, we, we, we reached out to the FBI Agents Association, who told us really the same thing that Candace Will at the FBI told us. Although this looks really bad, you need to keep in mind that the ratio of disciplinary issues among FBI agents especially are among the lowest in the federal government and the private sector. We're really talking about, Wolf, a small fraction of people doing some incredibly stupid things.